Happy New Year and welcome to the first St. Mary's Now of 2020. St. Mary's Now is a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. I'm Isaiah Edwards. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Legislators are making notes on education, guns, and sexual abuse penalties as big issues as the 2020 General Assembly in Annapolis session looms. The Enterprise checked in with local state legislators to share some of the bills they plan to support or monitor this year, including keeping an eye on changes to state education funding, creating stiffer penalties for stealing firearms, and increased punishments for sexual abuse. Partnerships formed to expedite aquaculture research as St. Mary's oyster farmers Petty and Blackwell are involved in selfish studies run by University of Maryland team. The oyster farmers are using university research partnerships to study how to grow and process biovabs more efficiently. They are working with Maryland Industrial Partnerships, or MIPS, a program that assists companies and doing research in conjunction with East State, State, State Universities through the University of Maryland. Over the past few months, the number of opioid-related deaths due to overdoses have remained the same in St. Mary's in 2019 compared to the year before, according to a report from the state. The Opioid Operational Command Center and the Maryland Department of Health released their third quarter statistics this week, and the numbers show the county had 22 opioid-related intoxication deaths between January 2019 and September 2019. It was the same number as during those same months in 2018. The three members of the St. Mary's County Board of, Board of Education, whose seats are up for election this year, said they, without a doubt, plan to run again. The candidate filing deadline is Friday, January 24th, and so far Kathy Allen, Vice Chair of the School Board, is the only candidate to file her fellow file. Her fellow board members, Jim Davis and Mary Washington, said they both planned to file soon. Allen has voted to continue his ro her role as vice chair at a December 11th school board meeting. She filed for re-election October 11th and is running again for the Board of Education at large seat and seeking her sixth form overall. The Showtime Delhi Holiday Classic Basketball Tournament was held this December 27th. This year's tournament was held at Great Mills High School with both the basketball teams from all three St. Mary's County Public High Schools competing as well as the girls team of King George from Virginia and the boys team of H.D. Woodson from Washington, D.C. The Hornets won a decisive victory over Chopticon to open the games. Leonardton then beat H.D. Woodson 61-51. The final match of the tournament was on the 28th was a back and forth struggle between the Raiders and the Hornets that ended with a 61 to 54 victory for Leonardtown. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. I'm Isaiah Edwards. Signing off.